Hey Mangs, what's up? I'm not going to be editing this video, but if I was to edit the video, this is where the intro would come in. You know, okay, anyways, enough of that. Uh, as a couple of you, the Mannings already know about this, but I guess I'll just retell the story because, I don't know, I feel like telling it. I'm doing this video all in one take because I don't have a video editing program anymore. I um, lost pretty much everything on my hard drive. Uh, two days ago, uh, I was talking to Liz on Stickam, and I was moving my my computer, and I boot from an external hard drive. So everything is everything on you know my computer is stored on that external hard drive, and it came out, it disconnected, like I dropped it or I forgot, it dropped and disconnected um, while it was still on and everything. So then when I tried to restart it, the the hard drive wasn't pick getting picked up, like it was just as if it wasn't plugged in. So I don't know, I'm gonna take it into a uh, uh, Mac repair center and see if I can get the information off of the hard drive or anything, but I actually had to go and get my other 80 gig hard drive and install an operating system on there and now I'm booting from that. So hopefully I don't drop that one either because I was actually panicking because I thought I would be left without a computer. But, so, yeah, I lost everything. I lost over 30 gigs of music. I lost um, all my old videos. I lost uh, my editing programs and everything. So hopefully I can get that back, but we'll see about that. But luckily for me, I still have a video camera that I can use. And regarding that whole battery business, I got a battery, but the camera isn't booting up from a battery. Or it, it's not, it won't turn on. I don't know. I think the camera is fucked up. I'm going to see if I can return it, but since Circuit City is going out of business, I don't know if they're going to accept returns again, so I have to plug it into the wall still, and I'm using a tripod. But, uh, anyways, what we're, uh, what we're talking about stuff, okay, uh, 10 things to do before you die, I don't know if I came up with 10 things, because I just sort of rolled some ideas around in my head, but uh, I'm going to come up with as many as I can, but, because nobody came up with 10 things. I don't think anybody named 10 things. They all just said, okay, well, I'll do this or that or that. And so I'm going to do the exact same thing. Uh, one, it was on Hazel's list too, is meet all the Mannings. And also on my list is a couple of other people that I've met from the internet and who are all very good people. You don't necessarily have to be a Manning for me to want to meet you before I die. Um, form a band of some sort. Uh, generally, probably a noise rock psychedelic band or something on the sword, if it, one of them experimental genres, because I listen to a bunch of weird shit. But who knows? It, uh, I'm also looking to uh, start jamming with a friend of mine who's into uh, a lot of reggae and ska, so we might have a little uh, jam band going on. I'm not sure. But not only to have a band, but to put out an album, a uh, full album. I don't really write songs that often. I'm actually quite terrible at the guitar, and I'm even worse at singing, as many of you know. But, so yeah, you know, coming out with an album would be nice, uh, something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I just don't have anybody to, um, like, play with right now, as in with a band. Uh, and I'm not very good at that whole singer-songwriter shit because, yeah, I'm not very good at guitar and I'm a horrible singer, so uh, I think that singer-songwriter, like, is not the way for me to go in the musical field. And what else? Uh, not only that, do a tour. Because I have played live shows before and they're a whole lot of fun and I love playing concerts. And I'd like to do that and uh, do a tour someday with the band that I have. Because I think that would be a lot of fun. And also, on a separate note, I, since you guys know I like photography too, I'd actually like to put out a photography like book or some sort of collection, whether it be online or actually in print, of um, pictures that I take of bands when I'm on tour with them or whatever, like, uh, you know, of other bands in concert, because that's kind of like the way that I want to go in the photography field, is to do, um, like, you know, pictures for, for uh, shows and things. I'm terrible at this one take vlogging shit. You guys know that I rely on the whole jump cut, like quick style bullshit to uh, sort of give my, give my videos a little bit more pace and it, not this whole, you know, crap. 
what else? What else should I do before I die? I want to be a um, an essential like leg or uh, make an essential contribution towards the uh, legalization of marijuana in America. Hopefully within my lifetime. I do want to see it legalized within my lifetime and I want to be a part of the movement that helps bring that about because it, it's, you guys know that's something that's really important in my uh, world view. Uh, I don't know. I don't, don't know any, like a lot of other stuff that I want to do before I die. I mean, I do know, I mean, I want to travel a lot to different places, to England, Scotland, you know, the different parts of the UK, Spain, go back down to Colombia to where my mom's from, hopefully have, oh, I want, before I die, I, I want to be able to buy a house for my mom in Colombia because she wants to go back. She's basically in this country right now for me and for the opportunities that it gives me as a person, but she misses her home and she wants to go back and live there because she loves it there. So, yeah, I want to buy her a place in Bogota, Colombia that she can call her own and that she can live out the rest of her days in happiness in her in her home. Uh, that's it for the, okay, OCD thing, right? Or what one thing are you sort of OCD about? I, um, whenever I go to a supermarket or a store or somewhere, I don't like to pick things up and just put them anywhere. Like, uh, some people will pick up a version and like, oh, okay, I don't want it later. Like, I will actually go back to wherever it's actually supposed to to go. I'm especially this way, like, I'm especially, like, OCD about this when in a bookstore. I, I, I hate picking up a book and going to read it or something. Like, I'll hang out at, at Barnes & Noble, the bookstore, and uh, read for a couple hours uh, sometimes. And then I have to go find where that book goes and put it back because I don't just like leaving it right there. I don't know. I just... It bugs me, and I like to do it. And it bugs me when my friends do it. When I'm with them, I go find it, and they're just like, whatever, boom, and they leave it and walk away. And yeah, that 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 thing just I don't know. I don't like doing that, and I need to put it back in its place. And a special talent we have. Well, in in my youth, in the days of my youth, I was into uh, magic a lot, and especially card magic. So I learned how to do card magic, magic tricks, and things like that. So, yeah, I do card tricks. I, I also, like, not just regular, I don't know, card tricks that usually everybody, I don't know, there's some card tricks that a lot of people know, and I know those, obviously, but I also know more stuff that has to do with, like, sleight of hand, and, yeah, I got, I got fairly good at being able to do sleight of hand with tricks and I freaked out some of my friends sometimes. I'm not gonna do a magic trick now, I just like messing with cards. But yeah, I still kind of can do some of this stuff. Um, if I had prepared a trick, I would probably do it. I might put a magic trick someday on my regular channel, but we will see. Uh, not right now. But yeah, so I do card magic. I still do know some card magic tricks, though I haven't really practiced in a long time. And what else is it? Oh, my question last week? Yeah, that was a joke. Uh, I would have thought with so many... I know that Dave doesn't watch Monty Python, but I thought maybe somebody else would get the reference. Um, the question was, what is the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? And Kyle actually what looked this up. I don't... Okay, I, I don't know where he got the information from, but the correct answer is African or European. That's, I was seeing if anybody would pick up on that, but nobody did. So I don't, I still don't know where the fuck Kyle looked up how the average airspeed velocity of a swallow. I'd like to know your source, Kyle. Why don't you just let me fucking know? And then Kyle challenged everybody to do a Danny dance, which is just skanking, like to ska. Um, I don't know, I guess, you don't listen to a lot of ska music, do you, Kyle? Or, I'm not gonna do it again, because, like I said, I have to do this in one take, and it's already been nine minutes! Oh my fucking god! Okay, well, I will, that's really been long, I just pulled a fucking hazel. I will see you guys later, peace in the Middle East.